Uh, why was the running game so effective today, and, and what was it like to have that kind of efficiency for both you and Mel? Yeah, um, I feel like we got off to a hot start. And um, when you do that with the run game, I feel like Coach Sherman was able to stick with it. And um, every run, not going to be a big run. We had like a couple, two or three yards, but I feel like we had a lot of big plays in the run game, and that really just opened everything up. Coach, uh, Fancio said that he came up to you at halftime and said you're going to bust one. Did yeah, he, he said, did. yeah, I know, man, just don't worry about it, or what, what was that like? Nah, I just started laughing. He said uh, he felt like I'm going to bust a long one. And um, I came out in the second half and had a 30-yard run, and he was like, that's what I'm talking about. So, yeah. Coming into the game, they were ranked, I think, sixth rush defense. I mean, a lot of teams get behind and pass on them, but mm -hmm. statistically, they weren't a team you'd say, okay, we're going to devour them. What was the challenge during the week? Was it play keep away? Like, we can win if we can run the ball? How did that kind of play out? Um, Really, I feel like we didn't really have, like, a, a legit, like, plan for the week. Um, It's really just whatever's going. Like, if you get court and Tim hot, we're going to throw it. If me and Mel get hot, we're just going to keep running it. So I feel like whatever whatever was happening in the game, that's what Coach Summers throw it. On that 30 yarder, you were kind of in a, a clump for the first 10 yards and then broke free. What are you seeing in that situation? Yeah, um, I really feel like it was Quinn. I think Quinn was behind me pushing me, um, and that kind of gave me like a boost, but everybody was just holding on to me. They weren't trying to tackle me or nothing like that. So when I broke, um, I don't know, I thought I was going, but somebody caught me from the back. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. Tim, Tim, first off, how, how are you feeling? What's going on with your leg? I feel good. Well, I was just cramping up. Just cramp, yeah. You had a huge catch on the ball where it was lofted over Melvin to you, and then the, the touchdown to Diggs. Was that something you guys had maybe scripted or thought could happen given his his aggressiveness? On um, the you, touchdown or the third down catch? Both of those. What, uh, the third, third, third down, down catch was just playing football, honestly. I seen they had, I don't know if he was spying or anything, but I went behind him so he wouldn't take me. And then, shit, me and Teddy just made eye contact and made a play. And then on the touchdown, we know he's aggressive. He's an aggressive guy. The route wasn't the best, but I kind of just wanted him to stop his feet. And he did exactly what I wanted to do. And I know once the ball is in the air, I just have to make a play on it. Tim, what does it say? You get to 30 points on the day. What does it say about what the offense can do moving forward? Uh, we could do whatever we want. We just got to believe it, and we just got to go out there and work. Um, like this game, it wasn't. Receiver-wise, it wasn't us uh, worrying about their defense. It was us outplaying their receivers. We knew if we outplayed their receivers, we had a really good chance to win this game, and I feel like that's what we did today. From afar, you appear to be one of the more passionate guys on this team. Mm -hmm. As a group, where did that passion? I'm a little crazy, so is that's just me, honestly. It's not nothing for the group. I'm just passionate about this game. Uh, like, you guys just know me already. Like, I love dominating and just making plays, and that's what we did, and everybody fed off of it. And we was really pumped to go against their receiving core once again, and that's what we did. Teddy told us that when Dallas went for it on fourth down, the first two possessions. Disrespectful. Yeah. Yeah, that shit disrespectful. Yeah. Yeah, nah, they trying us. And that's what happens when you try us. So. Uh, no, I don't say that because y'all going to quote the hell out of that. Uh, <laughs> I feel good. Like, we know what we're capable of, but we haven't seen it all put together. And just to see a complete team win like that, it just, it just gets you excited because now we've finally seen it. Now we know we got to stick to the plan and continue doing it week on and week out. I'm curious how the energy is literally in that line. Uh, it's energy. We won. It's, it's hard to win in the NFL, man, and we got to win. And to get in Dallas is even better. Everybody was saying we haven't beat a team over 500. Well, they have one loss, and we just beat them. Your defense had a shutout with six minutes left. What did you see from the sideline from that group? they just been playing with energy, man, the past two weeks. Like, the uh, mentality of no matter what's going on, our job is to go out there and dominate and stop the offense, and that's exactly what they did. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Tim. Jonathan, you've gotten close a couple times to, you know, to kind of come up with those, you know, the two sacks on a day that you guys, you know, had to shut out until four minutes to go in the game. Just what, what was your thought? Uh, I mean, it was just a crazy, crazy feeling, crazy game. Uh, the energy started early with our defense, and I feel like we just fed on that. You know, I fed on that. You know, it's it's always a hype feeling when you see, like, older guys or guys that you just came in with, uh, you know, having a great game and having energy. And I feel like I feed off of that and just kept going, you know. It's great.
two fourth down stops earlier. What kind of momentum was that for your group? I think it was huge. I think that I think that first fourth down stop that we got early in the game um, definitely set the tone for the rest of the game. Um, it was just such a big stop because I mean you're going against the, one of the number one offenses in the league, you know, and they're when you, you give them four downs and you stop them from getting 10 yards, you know, that's huge. So that energy, we just fed off from it and we just kept going. And I feel like that's what really started off uh, uh, our momentum. It was when a pretty you... big week for your position group. A lot of yeah. activity. Yeah, you, to say the least. <laughs> pressure, responsibility, opportunity, how did you react? Yeah, uh, I, felt, I felt a responsibility, honestly, because um, I am in that position room. And when you see a Hall of Famer like Von Miller uh, leave, and then you see Malik Reed go down, and you know Chubb's not back yet, and I look up to those guys a lot. Um, you know, I felt a responsibility because I feel like I was next man up, and uh, you know I just wanted to go out there and make them proud. Honestly, well, I can't imagine what that room must have been like this week. Like, yeah. I mean, it's spinning pretty fast, I would think. Uh, yes, no. You thought yeah, it? no, it was fast. <laughs> I mean, it was a lot of back-to-back -back stuff happening, but. Uh, you know, I think that just shows the kind of, uh, you know, people we have in that room, you know, the kind of character that they have, the kind of heart that they have, you know, and I and I follow them because they're they're my leaders. Uh, so, um, you know, how they go is how I go. And that just tells a story. Yes, sir. There was a lot of rookies that stepped up today. Yourself, Baron, Caden, Javante on offense, Quinn. What does that say about this rookie class and just how close you guys are? Yeah, I, it says a lot about this rookie class. It, it's always it's always really cool to see those guys going out there and doing those doing their thing, you know, because we all came together and we're all pretty close. Um, you know, we talk to each other, we see how we're doing like all the time and just how we feel and stuff. And to see them guys go out there and ball, I mean, it just means everything to me. I hope we hope we stay together. How uh, how hard is it to sack Dak Prescott? You said how hard? Man, he big. He's big now. I, mean, I ain't gonna lie. I was close on the first one, and I tried to hit him, and it's like I just like fell down. And I was like, hold on now. He's not like a normal quarterback, you know. Uh, but now Dak's an amazing quarterback. He's been an amazing quarterback for a very long time now in this league, and uh, you know, I, I I give him a lot of credit to go out there and fight the way that he did because you could definitely see the heart that he has. Thanks, Doctor. Thank you guys. So many different faces. What what kind of communication did that require of you today? Uh, nothing really different because, you know, the guys that came in, they both play center with Quinn and uh, Austin, so they know all the calls. So not too much difference as far as communication. Those guys stepped up well. And even Cam, Cam stepped up. So uh, it's a big win, and I'm glad we got it done. Season, uh, season high in rushing yards. How did that set the tone for you guys offensively? Uh, yeah, that felt great. Well, we, you know, we knew we were due for one of these days, and we've been waiting on it. You know, we've been putting in a lot of work. Just had to get it going and uh, just stuck to it all day. We knew we could run the ball in this team, so uh, it was good to finally, you know, break through. Was there something you saw during the week that kind of led you to believe that you guys would be able to run on them? Yeah, um, really, it was the weeks leading, you know, leading up to this game with us. You know, we were so close to breaking it, and then coming into this game, knowing they're, you know, they have some big guys up front, but they're not as big as you know as the teams we have faced in the past, and you know they like to move a lot, so. You know, we were prepared for that. As long as we handled their movement, well, we can break some good runs on them. Teddy said that Dallas going forward on fourth down, those first two possessions, yeah. got him fired up in the huddle because yeah. he thought it was a little bit of... Yeah. Uh, it, it, it was a disrespect true? to us. You know, we, we felt all the same way as he felt. Um, they felt like they can go forward and then their defense will just stop us, I mean, like it's nothing. So we definitely uh, you know, um, took that personal and tried to... You know, to come out and put some points on the board. Vic, Vic mentioned that Vic, Vic mentioned during the week. He said you guys had the right mindset. Everybody on the roster. Mm -hmm. Did you see that as well? And if so, what was it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, really, these past two weeks, you know, just trying to uh, come out to practice starting on on Monday. You know, with the um, with a fire lit. You know, and just try to execute every single play every single day. And you know, we practicing with great tempo on both sides of the ball, and it's, it's showing in the results that we've had the past two weeks. So we got to keep that going, you know, block out all the noise, and just keep trying to get these, these wins. How do you, you make sure you sustain that fire? Like you said, block out the noise, but is there other stuff you need to do? Uh, you know, really just keep doing what we're doing. You know, we understand that <clears throat> we put in the work. We put in a lot of work throughout the week. Um, you know, we, we, we feel like, and we're one of the hardest working, working teams, really, especially the O-line. We feel like we're one of the hardest working groups. So just keep putting in the work, 
Uh, we got one more game against a good opponent, a uh, good front uh, D line in Philly. So we got to get a win, get to six and four, and feel good and going to the bye week. A, when you get a win over a team with one loss, does it prove something to you guys too that you can beat this type of opponent? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it really proves that any given Sunday, you know, it doesn't doesn't really matter what your record is, you know, what you know, injuries, who's playing, who's not. Any given Sunday, we're all pros, and anybody, you know, uh, anybody can get a win against anyone. After all that hard work, how good does it see that? See the 30 on the scoreboard. Yeah. I guess. Felt great. Felt great. We wanted more. We wanted, really wanted to shut out for our defense, but it felt great to see that you know big, big score and just coming out here with a win. You know, a great environment in Cowboy Stadium, so it was, it was great. Talk about the environment. I mean, it's yeah. like almost neutral field. Yeah, yeah. We I saw a lot of orange out there. You know, it was, it was great. Great to see all our fans traveling. A lot of our families came. My pretty much my whole family was here, so it was, it was great. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.